This is Tana's takes. Well, we get all fired up, or well, I don't know. Depends what the peanut gallery has Depends to say. Depends what the haters got to say, you know. <laughs> but it is what it is. So let's start off with a good one because we are coming off the draft. Emmanuel Forbes, Quan Martin, the addition of them to Washington's uh, secondary makes them Friends the best. Friends already got the fire out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to tell, like, tell you like. I'm going to tell you like. give his take first, gents. Yeah, they, you know, haters, you know, that's what happens. But. I'm going to go on Fred's side, the Slim Reaper himself. I think Forbes alone just brought our defensive back, our secondary crew up a little bit. Then when you talk about Quan being as versatile as, as he is, he can play a little safety, he can play a little, you know, Buffalo nickel, he can play anywhere. And he's played in a defense where these guys was tutored, these guys was groomed to go out here and play on a pro level. So I think it gives everything to our, our secondary, and um, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's going to be some good competition as well. Okay, wait, what is the crying face for? So for me, it's on fire for Tana, because I totally agree. I'm just so sad that we got to talk about Fred being right <laughs> for the next year. I told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> that that was was like, this Look is pretty. me. Look at Listen, him. No, get, my no, dad is a preacher. No, he always told here. me, the truth will set you free. <laughs> Forbes was definitely their yeah. guy. We want that to be dude. able to have the defense, uh, you know, be able to take that ball back. One of the things that they were really struggling with last year was takeaways. Take so away. mm -hmm. here we go. Forbes is going to be the man that takes everything away. How about this? Let's go to Bijan Robinson. Is he going to be the favorite to win Offensive Rookie of the Year? Now, I'm an offensive guy, and Bijan Robinson is a running back. Um, but I would have been saying Bryce Young, but. Listening to a guy like Fred. Fred's giving me a lot of insight on this show, so I'm letting y'all know it should be Fred and Tanner takes. <laughs> um, Fred gave me a little insight talking about Drake London and Kyle Pitts and just what they got going over there, what they brewing in Atlanta. I think he's not going to have to do so much, but I will say he might be one of the favorites for it. So I'm, so I'm going to say yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, Fred's got to agree with that. Rookie of the year. I'm, he blew it away. I'm wrong. <laughs> Because at the end of the day, he is Tanner is right because the wealth will be spread, but we also know the quarterbacks are almost shoe ins yeah. for uh, for some players. That's what I say. Like you can't say a running back's going to make it when you have three quarterbacks going in the first round. You got the guy going in the second that might play a lot this year. I think those guys are going to have the the nod here. The only reason why I would say because of the quarterback is I love Bryce Young. I just feel like the weapon. He don't have the weapons to go out there and put up those kind of yeah. offensive rookie of the year, you know, uh, uh, numbers. So with B. John Robinson, he's ready. He's prime. To, to me, it's right like now. Anthony Richardson. I think is an interesting guy. right? Right. Yeah, going to yeah. rush for a 1,000, going to throw for a couple touchdowns. Yeah. So that's where I think that gets compelling, but also I think... Uh, and I want to see if he's going to be the throw for a 1,000 or more because I had question about can he read the defense? Yeah, can he, yeah, yeah. I understand he's going to play a little more, but can he read the defense, pick him apart? They done seen him before. Yeah. Yeah. Defense is going to come into the game prepared to say, hey, we're going to let this guy throw the ball. Instead of sitting back here trying to rush him, knowing he's going to get the feel on yeah, him. Yeah. So, who knows? I'm with you, old hairless one. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some left. Come on. Yeah, he chose to cut it. He chose to cut it. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, we're going to switch uh, sports a little bit here. We're going to go to the basketball court to NBA Finals. LeBron James, Steph Curry, they go head-to-head -head in round two of the playoffs. King Kong and Godzilla. Uh, yes. I'm yes. a King Kong fan. I think LeBron James is King Kong of the NBA. This guy can't be stopped. Well, he's going away. He's year 20 right now, 38 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. He's been doing all. Don't get me wrong. I, I love what Steph Curry has done to the, to the game, changed the whole trajectory of how they play basketball nowadays. All the kids want to shoot threes. He got seven footers now shooting threes. Uh, I'm going to go with Le LeBron James. I, I, I understand what, what those cats from Golden State have done the last few years, but King James got to go out the right way, and I think this might be the year for him. I don't know about that one because <laughs> Team Yellowbone continues to win championships. <laughs> Listen, Clay, Steph, Draymond, the unit, I'm going with the unit that's been together yeah. the longest. I am a Lakers fan. Don't get it twisted, but we just put this group together. These guys been there, done that. I'm going with Golden State. I think I'm just going to change mine. I like Fire Tanner. I like the way you set that up. King Gong first Godzilla, but I think it's going to be tough, man. That team in Golden State is pretty dynamic. I so. just like him saying King Yellowbone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love him. Look, nobody's going to doubt the fool, skill man. of LeBron or Steph, but yeah. LeBron's got to do more on his own yeah. than Steph has to do on his. Yeah. So, uh, well, we need AD way, to step Fun. So LeBron, can, he's gonna always be LeBron. We just need AD to show up the entire series and might have a chance. Draft, you got to announce the second round pick. This year, London Fletcher got to do that for yeah. us. Who did it better? Hail to the Commanders! With the 47th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Washington Commanders select Jartavius Martin, defensive back, Illinois. Commanders, I see y'all! What's up, everybody? With the 47th pick 
of the 2022 draft, the Washington Commanders select for Darren Mathis, D tackle, Alabama. Well, if you had to ask me, yeah, of I am course, I'm not going to say my. I'm, I'm not going to say I didn't do it better, yeah. but you had to look at where we did the draft at. I was in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I was appropriate for Vegas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. London right. did his in what Kansas City. They was all suited and booted in Kansas City. He was appropriate. It looked like they just had some barbecue or something. I was in Vegas. I was lit. I came mm -hmm. out there and made sure the blind. Knew I was lit. He came out there blind. <laughs> <laughs> they knew I was having a good time. I saw it in their eyes they was having a good time. Yeah. And we, the whole thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. we had a good time. I'm going with town on this. Yeah, I like that. I agree. Because the one thing about London, London don't like to attack fans. And that's your chance yep. right there. CeeLo Green was very toned down when he stepped up there to the mic. I'm going with Santana I addressed the fans first. Yeah. I see you. Mm -hmm. Commander's also, in the house, baby. You had a crazy name to say, and you crushed that, too. Oh, there you go. Nailed it. Praise. Thank yep. you mm -hmm. so much. Yep. So nothing but fire for that one. Yeah, there we go. Fire yep. and explosions, whatever. Mm -hmm. Those are Tana's takes <laughs> with too much from the peanut gallery. <laughs> the truth is the truth. <laughs>